Well, found a hole in the roof. Time to get rid of it, I guess. I think it's just too rusted out to worry about it anymore. Hey everyone and welcome back. We're we'll back on old Pickle the Bus today. For those of you who aren't familiar with this bus, there's a playlist on the channel that has all the videos on it. And the last time we put in the first piece of frame, and this is homemade frame, I didn't want to spend the money buying uh, the frame pieces because then I have more money in it than I do in the bus. So we welded this piece in here and there's still a little bit of welding I need to do on it. There's a spot right down here we need to hit once we get it flipped. But we need to flip it over in order to do that to weld the other side. So basically we're going to take the bus, put it exactly like it is on the driver's side onto the passenger side, and we'll be ready to weld that other piece in. We still have to make it. I haven't made it yet. So I'll try and film what I can of that. Some folks ask how I did that and ask if I could show it the next time. So I'll do what I can. And... Uh, really warm out here today it's in the mid 90s with about 90 percent humidity so <laughs> typical indiana summer i want to get this frame knocked out this summer though so that this winter we can have some fun work on the engine and that kind of thing and maybe bolt this thing back up next year that'd be awesome so let me just spend a little bit of time kind of cleaning up this mess around here getting things out of my way and we'll get them flipped over and i'll bring you back and we'll figure out the piece we need to make on the other side I don't think I'll have to move anything out of the way. The nice thing about having the bus inside the ring, you know if it's outside this ring, you're not going to hit anything. We're a little bit close over here, but I think we'll be okay. The only thing that might catch are these, the bumper mounts stick out just a little bit. I think we'll be alright. Uh, I'm going to do a video soon on these little trailers that I'm doing. Little tent trailers. So we'll try and set you right there. And we'll just warp speed you, warp speed you up as I rotate around. So I discussed in the other videos when we, when I do this, I put a come along or a hand winch. Some people call them hand winches. And I just go down to the uh, wheels and then I've got a, a U-bolt up top that I can flip either way depending on which side I'm on. And that just keeps my five-year-old from crushing himself or smashing his fingers. But the rotisserie itself moves pretty easily. I mean, it's not that bad to move it. I'm one-handed there. So, I mean, it, it it's not terrible. But I do like it locked in place and I like having the slow release with the come along. That way we don't have any issues. So he's back down almost nose straight let's make him go the other way so basically what i have to do is take this the end of this and walk it over to there and we got to ratchet down to the other side before we flip that though i was uh looking at my gas door and before it wouldn't move at all i sprayed a little oil and whatnot on it and it's moving now and I need to make a church key because I don't have one so why don't we take that off of there focus it's got a couple little looks like eight millimeter seven millimeter screws or bolts there so why don't we get this off before we get it pivoted up and we can't get to it and we'll bang out there's a dent and if you can see it there or not there's a dent there. We'll fix that. We'll try and get the original paint back down on this and we'll make a church key for it. Cool. That came back really nice. I grabbed a seven. I don't know what those are. Yep. How hard do you think those are going to be able to be to get off of there? <laughs> like butter. I did spray them. used PB Blaster this time. I usually use Free All. Couldn't get to the Free All can. Alright, let me finish getting that off of there. Yeah, we got that all off of there. It even looks like there's all original paint up inside here we might be able to save. And then I just thread the 
bolts or screws I take out usually back into the spot I took them out of. Uh, the WASP are not very happy with me right now. I have moved their home and they are ticked off. So as long as they'll leave me alone, I won't evict them. But they have built a nest in here and they're pretty ticked off with me right now. Uh, typical Midwest in the summertime. The mud daubers and the paper wasp build in anything that's not moved. They're, they're starting in the Land Rover too. So we probably need to uh, need to drive this thing a little bit. There they are. Yeah. So as long as they don't bother me, I'm not going to bother them. They start stinging me though. They're gone. Sorry, that's not the best uh, shot for you. You're right into the shadow up there, but maybe you'll be able to see something. Let's see how much further we need to go up. Yeah, I need to crank it up quite a bit more. We're going for this area right here, and I'm looking right now. You see it? Right behind the torsion tube is super punky on this side. So we'll have to do even a little frame repair around that. Yeehaw! Fun times ahead. <laughs> want to hear some of that rust falling around. That's getting us pretty close. I think we can probably work with that. It's pretty good. Maybe one or two more ticks around. Actually, that's pretty good. Might just leave it right there. Yeah, this one's going to be a little more challenging. So I guess I did the easy one first. So we'll come right up to this. We'll piece a piece in. And I'm probably going to use eighth inch there, and then we'll make we'll make this piece. I have to get a plasma cutter and cut out this stuff like we did on the last piece, and then we'll go just like we did on the last one to right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Everything back here. About like the other side, really. Looks pretty decent. So we'll go ahead and wire wheel up in here and we'll treat it with that OSFO. I'm gonna take this shock off of here. Yeah, I think if we just piece in, go up and kind of piece in a, a Band-Aid patch right here, and then we'll make and get clean out what debris we can out of there. And then we'll make that other piece be in good shape. Let's get some stuff cut out of here so we can work. fought me even with a plasma cutter. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, cut this piece here off or just pull it off. That works too. And uh, then we'll cut this frame section out. Yeah. Too bad on this side. 
you can see it too. It kind of goes. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Lord, how, how? I don't know. I don't know how it stayed together, but it did. Yeah, we're down to cutting the frame out now. So if it goes uh, boom, catch it for me, okay? I'd hate for it to fall on your head. So I'm gonna cut uh, to this hole here, I don't know if you can see that or not, and then cut probably just straight down from the torsion tube like I did before, and then we'll clean it up from there. I don't, uh, don't know what we're getting into up there, so I don't wanna lose the part where it starts to flare. I'll show you. I don't wanna lose this pattern here, so I'm gonna leave that. So we're gonna cut kind of right where that brace is. Whoop, can't see anything. Kind of cut right where this brace was I just cut out. So I don't lose track of the shape. I can always go back to the other side, but I don't want to lose track of the shape right there because it kind of flares out. So I want to make sure we keep that. And I'll cut it off uh, in one chunk so we can keep that pattern. Ay, ay, ay. Whew. I'm trying to kind of go through with the plasma cutter and just peel back this layer that was lapped over and just kind of see what we've got under there. So I'm just working a little bit and then putting a screwdriver under it and peeling it back. And then I'm going to take a hammer and we'll ping along. If we're good on this side, I'm just going to patch right here and then do my wrap around thing again. So. This weld up here that's cut, I miswelded initially my bracing, so that's that's my doing up there. That's not rust. I did that. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep working along, plasma cutting along here, and I'm kind of angling the plasma cutter up. I'll try and leave the camera on, but it's kind of hard to see. But I'm angling up, and then I'm sticking a screwdriver and just kind of prying it up, trying not to burn through that lower layer there. Most of that peeled up now. Let's get this back piece out of here. And we can take a grinder to that and kind of see what kind of condition we're in. the other side. Go ahead and clean that up. Whoa, you're zoomed in. Clean that up and then we'll come around here and do some real inspection here because I have a feeling it's going to just keep growing like we did here. Definitely going to cut this section out. I've gone around and whacked it pretty hard. Well, really hard, all the way up to about right here, and it'll soften till about where that old weld was. So this metal here is all junk. So I'm going to cut this section out, and we'll make that piece. And I did the same thing all the way up. You can see my hammer hits all the way up there. So I think if we just cut out this section here, and I'm going to come a little high so we have something to weld to right there. 
and we'll piece that piece in and then I will cut grind all of this junk off of here but I'm gonna go ahead and cut to that line and that should be about where we cut on that other one down there you can I don't know if you can see it in camera or not probably not but right here it kind of wants to dip down and that's where the metal was weak originally so we'll just go ahead and cut that out so we're gonna cut those two places out and then probably all we're gonna have time for today is making this piece right here I don't know what's in there but I can hear it sizzling to rust. <laughs> Sand. like the other side only this side decided to go ahead and rust out all the way let me get that cleaned up and I went ahead and cut this piece off as well it's not perfectly straight but we'll clean it up with a grinder I need to take an air hose and blow everything out of that tubing so we can get that all treated with the rust treatment I've treated everything back here some of that rubberized coating I couldn't get off, so I torched it. Just put a torch on it and burn it and then scraped it off and then went ahead and treated it with that rust treatment. And we'll do the same thing that we did on the other side with this. We'll blow it out and then we'll spray up in there with that rust treatment and get that all treated. This piece here feels pretty strong, so I'm gonna, I really probably should cut that all out, but I'm not going to. We're gonna clean it up first before we uh, cut it out of there and decide what we're gonna do at that point. There's already a hole cut in the floor up here, so when I go to weld that piece on top, we've already got a hole up there. Won't have to worry about that. You can see straight through the bus right there. Watch your eyes. I don't want you to get anything in your eyes. Well, there's that all cleaned up. Kind of gone around with the grinder, just cleaned up the edges a little bit, made it ready for to receive a piece of metal once we're ready to put that in there. And then sprayed it with that rust converter uh, all the way up. There's a, a hole here that I turned the spray hose around and sprayed everything in there as well as I could. And then here, you can get to it from right here. So I sprayed all up in there. So from that point all the way down here, I've sprayed. And most of it's just pooling here and running out because of the way we have the bus position. But I think for the most part, we got that coated pretty well. I've also taken the camera and what I can't see of the torsion tube, I've inspected with the, the little micro camera that I have and everything looks fine. So I really think the only bad spot was right there, the spot we cut out. So now all we have to do is make that little piece and then make this big piece and the back is pretty well done as far as the main frame portions are concerned. While we have the bus flipped this direction, we'll go ahead and start on the front frame on this side and get it done. And then we'll flip it again and do this side. And then the frame should be uh, pretty well good to go. Once we do that, we should be able to start taking the floor out. I'll be able to, pos to basically position the bus so it's straight like it should be. And we should be able to start working on this floor. Like I said in one of the previous videos, I, I could probably save that. Do you think? <laughs> I still don't know how it's holding together on the rotisserie. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's doing great. 
It's worked awesome. Don't ask me how. Because <laughs> I sure as heck don't know. Well, we're kind of waiting on that to dry that rust treatment stuff. I thought we might go ahead and take out these lights. At some point, we got to redo these anyway, so. I think I'll get a little uh, free all or something for that. Tighten it up a little bit, and then we'll loosen it again. A little snug. Just stabbed you in the nose, pickle. Sorry about that. Try not do that again. I don't know if we're gonna get that out of there or not. There we go. I am going to try to stay focused on the frame. I think if we can get that knocked out this summer. What's hiding behind headlight number one? Bring you up here so you can take a peek. the headlight bucket looks pretty good it's not all rusted out like I thought it would be <laughs> guys I think that's actually savable Wow who would have thought right So that headlight assembly needs a little bit of love. Just pulling some little projects like this off while we're in the process of frame building. This will give us some stuff to work on, say, you know, on a rainy day or of an evening. You know, when, am I, when I have spare time or I get bored. That's a joke. That never happens. All right, let's get this one off of here. I may go ahead and uh, wire wheel these out and treat them with that rust treatment since they're going to be exposed now. Cool. Well, the outside of this one's in a little better shape, but the inside kind of got pinholes all throughout. So I'll probably cut out most of that right there. I doubt I'll be able to patch it. Uh, it'll just blow out as you start to patch it, so we'll probably have to cut out a pretty good chunk of that bucket there, but much better than I had anticipated. I'll take it. This one's in really good shape on the inside. I don't think I even blew through anywhere. Outside, got a hole there with the patch up. <laughs> Not as bad as I thought. Let me blow those out and we will uh, treat that with that rust stuff. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are losing, quickly losing daylight. So I'm gonna have to wrap this up for this evening. But I tried cutting this uh, piece here as a single piece, just took a piece of my square tube tried pie cutting and notching it out. I don't really like the way uh, that looks, so toss that idea 
and have gone with this idea using two pieces uh, and going like something like this. It'll need to be cut down on the top. Uh, let me get that in there, I'll bring you back. So something a little more like that, and then I'll make this piece, <clears throat> excuse me, up here. I think that keeps better uh, with the shape of this and the flushness of it. So that when I go to make that piece like I did before, where I kind of grab around the torsion tube, I won't be trying to work around that. This keeps it pretty close to the way it was originally. So make that top piece I'll weld those this piece and the top the new top piece together and then we'll insert the whole thing in as one piece that way and I'll round it to make it look mimic this that way we can uh, not have a lot of bulk there I think if I do the pie cut there's gonna be a lot of bulk there and I'm trying to reduce that so I think that's what I'm gonna go with right or wrong Right, wrong, or indifferent, that's what we're doing. It's my boss. <laughs> if it's wrong, I'm the one that has to live with it. But I mean, the metal I'm using for the frame is thicker than what the original was anyway. So, With that, I'm going to wrap it up for this evening. And we'll finish this up. We'll pick up right where we left off. We'll finish that piece. And then we'll make uh, this piece of frame like we did on the other side and piece that in. And then the back uh, is tied up. So with that, I'm going to sign off for tonight. And we will pick back up right where we're leaving off. So say goodbye to the eyeless, bumperless pickle. And we will catch you on the next one. There's a little bit of what that looks like with that treatment in there. Looks pretty good. Pretty happy with how those look. Can't complain about that for sure. All right, everyone. We'll see you next time.